continuing on with uh, the very, 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 very last today's special of the year that's been planned for Blendtec. Now, this is one of those items that's gonna replace so many other appliances in your counter. We know the most expensive real estate in the world is your countertop in the kitchen. So it'll replace everything from your coffee grinder to your mixer, your food processor. If you happen to have a meat grinder, maybe you make your own homemade ice cream, uh, it's gonna replace that. It'll also replace your juicer. If you have a juicer, maybe you have a lot of parties, you've got like a mojito maker or many other, uh, you know, uh, margarita maker, like your frozen drink maker, or maybe you have a uh, coffee station in your house. Maybe you, you have those frozen coffee drinks that you go to the coffee shop to get that are five, six dollars a pop. You can get rid of all those. We're going to introduce our special guest. Casey Savage is here. What a great name. Casey Savage. I love I the know, Savages. My last name is trending right now. <laughs> yes. Hashtag Savage right here. Well, and Blendtec is trending today because this is such a phenomenal blender. I loved when we were discussing this earlier because I love introducing people to Blendtec. You know, half a billion views on YouTube for Blendtec Will It Blend videos. Have you ever seen those extreme videos? Yeah, I actually have, no, oh. have not, but I know that there's lots of recipes. It comes with 30 recipes, but yes. I know there's thousands of recipes on Blendtec.com. That's and it. We're going to be, this is almost like a cooking show because it we're going to show you so many things. If you buying the Blendtec, if you own it, give us a call. Casey and I love calls. Don't we love calls? Love chit chat. <laughs> love chit chat. Call us up. Call us up. 1-866-376-8255 is our number. So what are we going to start doing? Here. Oh my gosh, I am going to show you why Blendtec blenders are different from any other blender you've ever seen before. Because if you're tuning in right now, you're like, blender, yeah, I think I've got one of those collecting dust somewhere <laughs> that, or, that I got in the 80s and, and I hate it. This is so much more than a blender. I hate even calling it a blender. So let's herein refer to it as just Blendtec. Because Blendtec has some of the most innovative components. A square jar. Anytime you see a square jar at your favorite smoothie shop, restaurant, coffee house, Blendtec invented the square jar because if it's square, ingredients get thrust upon each side. That creates friction and you don't get that big empty cavitation. Better blending with a square jar. Blendtec also invented the blunt blade. We'll talk about that blade. It's not even sharp. Yeah, I watched the, the presentation at midnight with Callie and it blew me away. I was like, wait a minute, how can they cut <laughs> stuff up if it's not sharp? How does it work? How does it work? I didn't get well, it. Well, you know how it works. When you have a three peak horsepower motor, when you have 1,560 RPM, when you have something that's spinning up to 300 miles an hour, you don't need a sharp blade. Sharp blades make up for weak motors. So if you're a blender at home, you're going, wait, mine has a sharp blade. Not a great blender. Blendtec blenders are used in over 90 countries and commercial establishments. By the way, as I casually toss in these ingredients, cantaloupe with the seeds, pineapple core, kiwi with the fuzz on top. I'm trying to just throw everything at it. Big hunk of hard apple, orange, strawberries with the greens. I'm loading up this 90 ounce BPA free wild side plus container. It has a fifth side. What's the point of that? Well, Blendtec discovered that when you take a square jar and you add a fifth side right here, it blends up to 50% faster than the leading high-end competitor's blender. So you're getting a high-end blender at not a high-end price, and it will do everything for you. If you're kickstarting your day with a whole juice or you're finishing off with some brownies, this can do it all. But I wanna show you the real genius in a Blendtec blender, and that's the presets. Engineers have designed this blender to have a brain inside of it. Whether you're doing batters or doughs, whether you're doing frozen drinks, crushing ice, smoothies, ice cream, whole juices with the fiber intact, or hot soups in three minutes. And it will only take three, three minutes. Three minutes. That's it. I've seen other blenders do like <laughs> six or eight, nine minutes. Yes, yeah, because the leading competitor takes that much longer because it's not as powerful as Blendtec. One button, and here's the key. I'm gonna step away. As you listen to it rev up, you're probably like, well, wait a minute, nothing's happening. Oh wait, yes it is. Blendtec blenders have different cycles. So they rev up and they rev down, depending on what's going on. And all you have to do is keep your eye on the blender and right down here in the front, see that countdown? That countdown right there, this will be a complete cycle. Right here, and there that little smoothie button. This will be completely done, see that? all the ingredients and it grabs 
awesome. So you never have to worry. My favorite part about a Blendtec blender is actually the fact that it knows what it's doing. You're gonna doubt it, because I did when I got home. I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah. Why is it just growling? And then it's going wild. Right. And then it's slowing down again. <laughs> right. I better call customer support. Because <laughs> right. something's wrong here. No, engineers have designed Blendtec blenders to give you perfect quality results every time. So remember the spinach? Remember the kiwi with the fur on top of it? I'm I remember the seeds, the, the seeds in the, the cantaloupe. cantaloupe. Okay, watch what happens when I pour it out. Where are the seeds? Where's the spinach leaf? Where's the fuzz from that kiwi? Where are the stems from the strawberry? It's all gone. And that's because these are the very that's really blenders. really amazing, Casey. Isn't that amazing? That really, I mean, this is my first time doing a Blendtec show and I know that-, that I love newbies. That, yeah, that's, <laughs> I'm completely admit it, I'm a newbie. And I did watch the presentation at midnight and I was, I, I'm mesmerized yeah. by the technology. And I've been to smoothie places and there's a smoothie, you know, kind of a chain place that yeah. has the square ones. And if you kind of peek behind the counter, you'll see the Blendtec name. Uh, there's lots of major, and, and that's for commercial use use. This is a commercial mm. use level mm -hmm. uh, and $299.95. I mean, if you count up how many, how much you spend on smoothies, the reasons why you love those smoothies is because you, they're smooth <laughs> as opposed, they don't call those stores chunkies. Yeah. Come on in for a lumpy and chunky. <laughs> I want to point I can't, something this out. Is, I can't believe how smooth that Could is. Could I get you a tinier straw? <laughs> I looked for the tiniest <laughs> straws imaginable because it's not impressive if you're sucking it through, you know, right, a hose. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> so I found the tiniest straws because you know what it's like if you've ever tried to make a smoothie at home and you have an mm. inferior quality blender, mm. you've got chunks, you're chewing half the time. My in-laws have this awful blender. I've been trying to convert them forever and they're constantly crunching on their drink. <laughs> yes. Like, you're not supposed to be chewing the ice. It's supposed yes. to be gone. You know what, Casey, I want to take a second to tell everybody if you purchase it separately, the value with this, because oh, yeah. what you're holding the twister jar, that's $129.95 value by itself. And you're also getting this really cool spatula that Casey says is husband proof <laughs> from getting your counter <laughs> sticky. I think she's going to explain yeah. that. We're trying to, it's that's kind a of sore like point. A, a bit of, uh, <laughs> a bit of marriage counseling going <laughs> yes. on here with the blend tech. <laughs> so $579.95 is the retail value. We're doing it for $299.95, and you may be popping the TV on in the afternoon here on the weekend, maybe not thinking you need a new blender, but maybe you need more room and counter space, and you want to eat healthier, eat at home. This is your very last chance. There's only one more presentation after this. It's been crazy popular. I will tell you, if you order the pomegranate or the sea foam, you're gonna get it in 17 days. We had to push back when you get it. I'm telling you right up front. If you order the slate, or the black, you will get it in the usual seven, you know, three to seven business days. We package it and send it out to you. So uh, just because it's been so crazy popular. So I wanted and, to tell everybody that right off the bat. And also these are made in Orem, Utah. 400 families work at that facility. I visit it myself and they are so happy because not only are they walking the walk and talking mm -hmm. the talk at Blendtec, but they put their name, they inspect these, and all of these Blendtec um, blenders, head to toe, top to tail, built in Orem, Utah. So not assembled with parts globally sourced, American parts. So that's yeah. a fantastic story and, and, right and there. And an eight year warranty made eight in the US. Year eight years, pretty, cra pretty crazy. Oh my gosh, can you imagine where we could be in eight years? I don't know. Think of the possibilities. Uh, I don't know, I, I hope I have a job in eight years. <laughs> husband that doesn't leave the spatula on the screen. That's going to be my mission for this show. You can, you can record this show and play it for him. No, I've tried. It doesn't work. Okay. So look at how quickly I took peanuts, plain old fashioned peanuts, and turned it into homemade peanut butter. No added oils, no added salt. When was the last time your doctor said to you, you know what you need in your diet? More processed foods and salt. Uh, right. <laughs> no one is ever going to tell you that. You know you have to eat better, right? And we're also conscientious about it. As a mom of three boys, I'm always trying to get my kids, my husband, even my dog. I make dog biscuits using my Blendtec really? blender. Really? Yeah, they've got, Blendtec has great pet treat recipes as well. So this, using this um, spatula, I get all around that jar to get that velvety, delicious, warm, gooey peanut butter. Because the blade is so powerful, the longer you let it run, the softer and warmer that peanut butter gets. So I don't know if you're a peanut butter lover. I love peanut butter. I'm highly recommending okay, you I'm gonna take go, an I, apple slice. I will definitely do that. And I'm gonna talk about the blade for one sec because okay. if you are just tuning in, you're like, yeah, I've got a blender, but I, I don't use it. 
Here's mm. why we don't use blenders. It's warm. Isn't that so good? <laughs> so good. Just the way mom used to make it, except <laughs> my mom probably didn't do not. That. <laughs> yeah. No, Unless my, my mom was like me. She worked. She didn't have time. <laughs> Unless she had a Blendtec blender. Yeah. Hey, well, speaking of time, we're gonna do mm. it. Probably 30 recipes in this hour. So when you talk about fast food, it can be healthy food as well. But this is the secret right here. That blunt blade. I can put my hand in with a Blendtec blender and touch that blade. It's three inches of cold forged steel, wing tipped on the side and so super powerful. And to mm. show you how powerful it is, this is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna take a little handful is of rice. Is my smoothie in the way here? I'm gonna move it out of the way. Tiny little handful of rice. The rice, as you can see, isn't even above the blade. <laughs> I only put a little bit of rice in there. But I want you to see what power and performance look like why tens of millions of people trust Blendtec blenders in over 90 countries, not only for business owners who are running restaurants and shops, but people who are athletes, who are foodies, people who are big time into performance. In fact, in the NFL, there are Blendtec smoothie refueling stations for athletes because athletes know that what you put into your body is what you're gonna get out of your body in terms of performance. Or maybe you're a gourmet foodie and you wanna make that perfect sauce for on top of you know that fantastic meal that you're making. Maybe you wanna make your homemade barbecue sauce. You can use a Blendtec blender to get top performance because that's what chefs use. Or maybe you're just a parent and you wanna get more fruits and veggies into your kid's diet. If you've got a special diet, maybe you've gone gluten-free and maybe it's by choice or maybe it isn't, you can do your own flours because now I'm using it as a grain mill. I've used it as a whole juicer. I've used it to make nut butters and now I'm using my Blendtec blender to turn rice into rice flour. That's like $5 worth of rice flour right there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and that, you go that, to that a kind specialty of store. Gluten-free flour is so expensive. It is. It's crazy expensive. And then let's that's face a, that's it. A, that's, a, that's pretty amazing. It is, it is so amazing. It's just powdery. That's what a great quality blender will do. This will be the last blender you will ever own. Eight year warranty on it, made in the US. And let's face it, we love our smoothies. We spend a lot of money on smoothies. Because eight, eight year warranty, I don't think I've ever bought a blender and I've owned a lot of different most, you know, blenders yeah. and this and that, that had eight years and everything made in the USA Best is a big in the deal. business. You know, when it comes to blenders um, or any kitchen appliance, you're lucky to get 30 days <laughs> right, you <laughs> on know, a yeah. lot of products, it's right? True, yeah. But that's how confident Blendtec is in their products that they're giving you eight years. I have one from 2011, it's still under warranty. So I just press that little smoothie button and listen again. So first it grabs the ingredients. Because it's a square jar, it pulls them down into the center. Here's what Blendtec blenders don't have, stir sticks. Yeah. Stirring wand, tamper things. Yeah, right, because I was noticing that. It's a totally hands-off appliance. I can go right now, I can check Facebook, I can shop HSN online, I can do whatever I want to do, and it shuts off automatically at the end of this blend cycle. You can see it counting down. In 32 seconds, I will have the perfect smoothie. This is what smoothie shops use. They don't babysit. You just see them take it, they press a button, they walk away, and they let the Blendtec blender do all the work, and then they pour it into a cup and charge you six, seven, eight dollars. Right. You can be doing that at home with the ingredients you want. Over 30 recipes are included, but on Blendtec.com, there are thousands to choose from. And Casey, I know kind of the biggest competitor for this is that big one that begins with the letter V that yes. can be in the five, six, seven hundred dollar range. Mm -hmm. And this this one fits better on your counter. This it's one not fits as tall. on your counter. <laughs> yeah, right. Fit, the, fits yeah. inside a home. Blendtec will fit on your countertop underneath your kitchen cabinetry because it's only 15 and a half inches high. You can't say that about the leading competitor. You have to take it apart and leave it there. Also, this is the only blender that has the pre-programmed cycles where you just step away. And, and it shuts off when it's it done. And it shuts off when it's done. The other leading competitor that you alluded to yeah. requires you to just mm, somehow know when to rev it up oh. or rev it down or turn it on and turn it off. By the way, this, this, this tumbler that she that Casey is pointing at, we do have these available smoothies to go. And you know, I love that you have a metal straw there. I'm just, there's not a day that goes by I don't read another per, another state that eliminates straws, straws illegal. So you need your metal straw, good for the environment. Uh, yeah, $14.95 to get that home. Okay, how about some hot soup, tortilla soup? You can now use this as a soup maker. It's one of the appliances that you talked about. Instead of the immersion blender, instead of the food processor, I've got right from the crisper, tomatoes, 
red peppers, cilantro, onion, a little bit of garlic, a sprinkle of cumin. From crisper, you mean refrigerator? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you have a little like, drawer, it says the, little the crisper. crisper. Oh, yeah. okay. And then you've got the avocado. You thought I was using a fancy, I thought some maybe fancy it was some lingo. sort of European, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, the crisper <laughs> drawer in your fridge. Yeah. And I've got a hunk of Monterey Jack, and I'm going to put it over here because... Wait, this is a square of cheese. This is a whole hunk and of cheese. And that's gonna make soup. I press the soup button, and in three minutes, I will have hot soup. How does it get hot without an element? Well, it gets hot because of the power of the motor. How now, many servings will that make? Oh, well, that's a lot of soup. So it depends what you consider a serving size. But if you've got a small, reasonable bowl, you could serve four. But with, we're going to do yeah. two giant bowls because it's fall. First day of fall, right? Yeah. But that's three minutes. It would take you longer to open the can of soup right. that's filled with salt and, and, and who knows still, what. What about washing this? Dishwasher safe it's, on the top it, it rack. It is dishwasher safe. Or you can put some dish soap into it and then just pulse it a couple times on the blender base with some water. Oh, then it's and its, its own dishwasher. It, exactly. <laughs> oh, that's It cool. cleans itself because you're always going to be using this. So I want to do something. While our hot soup is going, I want to do the opposite of hot soup. I want to do ice cream. Okay. This is going to blow your mind. I've got a little bit of cream and some protein powder. This is called the creamsicle ice cream. Orange, you're like, okay, that makes sense. Avocado, you're like, huh? That doesn't make sense to it me. <laughs> it's about to make less sense in a minute. Okay. That gives it a nice creamy consistency. Believe me, do not change the channel. You will want to see the end result of my cabbage and carrot that I have added to this is soup. This, is this stir fry ice cream? <laughs> this is not oh, okay. stir fry, yeah. Bok choy ice cream. It is not stir fry ice cream. Oh, I need to add my ice, of course. Last step, toss in a whole bunch of ice. Then you just press the preset for ice cream. Believe me when I tell you, this will be your family's new favorite ice cream. This is a way to get not only your servings of veggies into your diet, but your kids' diet as well. If I say to my kids who wants ice cream for breakfast, they're gonna be suspicious. <laughs> when they, they're, they're gonna be like, savages. Yeah, mom, <laughs> mom, are you okay? What's happened to you? But this ice cream right here has vegetables in it, but tastes like it does not. It tastes exactly like an orange creamsicle. You hear it rev up, it's ready to roll, and I hope you're gonna taste it for me. I am gonna taste it. You know, I, I did watch earlier presentations <laughs> and I thought, what, what is Nobody going on? Nobody was harmed in the making of this ice cream. Yeah, and I saw Kelly going back for like thirds, and she's, oh she's my gosh. she wouldn't do that. I know Kelly <laughs> if she didn't really like it. It's so good. So I'm just using an ice cream scoop. You're gonna get a nice soft serve ice cream. You can always put the leftovers, if there are any, in a, a storage container, pop it into the freezer. But Blendtec is all about possibilities. Their motto is always better, and they're yes. always innovating to have these fantastic blenders. I'm giving you an extra scoop. You know why? You've been a good girl. Uh, yay! <laughs> oh, we're gonna get along just fine, Casey. You, you got my number. Yay! There and we I go. I want you to try this. Reminder, <laughs> avocado, orange, carrots, cabbage, it tastes like um, have I converted like a, you? Like, like an orange Julius kind it, of. Do you remember tastes, orange Julius? Yes, I do. With that big I giant even, orange. I don't even know what's happening. We're gonna go to the phones. We're gonna talk. It to makes you. no sense. It makes no sense. Oh, good phones. I get to eat ice cream. Mary, yes, yeah, start eating. <laughs> We're gonna go to California and say hi to Marianne, who got the Today Special uh, and has one from years ago, but upgraded. I'm reading mm. the whole thing, Marianne. You're on live. Hello. Yes, yeah, thank you. Well, I I can't say enough about this blender in quotes because i've had mine for 17 years almost 18 years still going strong but when i saw today's special i thought it's time for me to get an upgrade it's got the presets that i like but it's a fantastic machine if this can last and i use it several times a week if it can last 17 almost 18 years it has to be a pretty good machine Oh my gosh, Marianne, I have to ask you, does your model from 17 years ago have a counter on the front that tells you how many times you've used it? Oh no, no, it doesn't have oh, that. Oh, because I would love to know how many thousands and thousands <laughs> of times, and what do you use it most for? I, I, I can't even remember, because sometimes I use it several times a day. Yeah, but do, you, do you make like peanut I butter or smoothies? You make I mean, everything. You name mm. it. 
Just I, everything. I, I make it in, in, the, in the blend check, and I just love it. You should try this ice cream. Yeah. It has cabbage I'm, in it. I'm trying it for you. <laughs> it's incredible. You would love this. And what color, can I ask, did you pick? Pardon? What color? She wants to know what color you got. Mm -hmm. Oh, I ordered the black. Mm. Very nice. And you know, the black is in stock, so you're going to get that seven to 10 business days. It's going to be on its way. The other two colors, the sea foam and the pomegranate, we have them, but we were so busy that you're going to get them in the beginning of October, just a week later. So you'll get yours sooner. So Marianne, okay. thank you for calling. Thank you. I 17 Love years. That. That 17 makes, years. Yeah. That's amazing. They, thank you so much. That's, I'm not surprised that's to hear a long, that. That's a long time to have a, a blender. I can't think of a blender I've had in my lifetime <laughs> for more than maybe three years. That's longer than most relationships. Yeah. That's yeah. impressive. <laughs> That's longer than most of my marriages. <laughs> you don't want to know, Kat, Casey. It's, my life's been a nightmare until I met you. <laughs> how, about, how about we just talk about soup? Okay. <laughs> Let's That's, just focus That's, a, on good, the that's soup. a good plan. We're, yeah. we're to switch over to soup now. <laughs> it's too painful to talk about your past. Okay, I'm going to pop the lid off, and you'll notice the steam that appears on my apron. And as a reminder, oh, Ooh. that looks good. As a reminder, there's no heating element. This is just pure power. Marianne knows this. She's known this for 17 years. A Blendtec blender has a three peak horsepower. So you're getting incredible professional results. I love that Marianne's upgrading only because this is just so tempting, but right. she doesn't actually need a new blender. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Because it's still going strong. And so you said it was three minutes for hot soup? Three minutes for hot soup. Now, if you're a raw foodie, you're probably saying, well, you know, I can't have hot soup because everything has to be raw. Everything I put in here was raw, and this will be no hotter than 101 degrees. So, so that's still under the umbrella of exactly, raw food temperature. Exactly, exactly. You're not burning the palate of your mouth. You're getting just a beautiful, soft, warm, delicious soup. And as you he we head into fall and the holidays and Thanksgiving and Christmas, it's about nesting and being cozy and enjoying all of the delicious flavors that are out there. Here's what I didn't add, salt. I want you to just give this a little taste and there is nothing that you can ever compare to the taste of fresh. Fresh ingredients, it's not too hot. I, I just want you guys to see how smooth this is too. So Because I'm gonna smooth. kind of pour, look at this. I want you to slowly see, like look at that. There is not a lump or a chunk. From the cubes of cheese, <laughs> everything that was in that there. That is pretty impressive. Isn't that nice? All right, mama's gonna taste one now. Oh, it's really. It's gonna go away from the camera into my face. <laughs> but it's gonna be so tasty. Tortilla soup. Oh, that is good. That's got a little spice to it, too. That's got a little kick. It's mm. got a little kick of cumin Ooh. in there. You can I do like. so much with your Blendtec blender mm. with just that wild side jar, but the bonus of having the twister jar, mm. that's, that's for so anything. Good. I'm, I didn't, I missed trying this. Go ahead, keep talking. <laughs> that's for anything. I'm trying everything on the table. Thicky or sticky. So I'm doing a creamy mm. basil pesto right now. Everything sounds so, so gourmet, but watch how quickly I can do this. Slide the power up. Avocado, pine nuts, garlic and olive oil, and done. I mean, if you say I don't have time to make things from scratch, you obviously don't have a blend tech blender because it is so simple and so easy. And all those recipes are on uh, blendtech.com. They or... are, they are. And look at how beautiful that is. I want you to smell this. You know, it's so fresh. Like mm. fresh is the word that comes to mind and so quick. So quick, so good, so delicious. There's a reason why in over 90 countries, professionals have trusted Blendtec for decades. Marianne's mm. had hers for over 17 years. Yeah. You're always going to get perfect results. And if keep calling because yeah. Casey and I, we love, we want to hear do. your personal story. 1-866-376-8255 or you can stay on the line after you order. And I don't know, Adam, is there a color that's more popular? Like the... The sea foam, everyone's loving, you know, there's something like 1950s retro about that sea it, foam. It is very retro and pretty. Yeah. But you know what? A blender, there are a lot of pretty blenders out there. I see them all the time and I wonder, but can they do the job? Can they do the basics? Can yeah. they crush ice? So I've put ice in this blender right here because I want to show you how perfectly, not only okay. does it crush ice, watch this. I press the crush ice button. Here's the true test. Can your blender take rock solid frozen ice and in seconds turn it into soft fluffy powdery snow <laughs> straight from canada snow <laughs> look at look that look at this oh. so perfect and then you know what you need that beautiful snowy consistency for 
tequila and margaritas. Yeah. So we just top it up. That was that was my second <laughs> thing I was gonna say. You're like tobacco. Do you know what you know what my daughter loves is that powdery snow you get in Hawaii, the shave ice. Yes. And then all you have to do is make that and then pour like a little syrup over exactly. it. Exactly. So you yeah. can do the shaved ice. You I have a shave ice cold. machine this could replace. That's not even on your list. Okay. I am embarrassed <laughs> to admit I used to have a margarita maker machine <laughs> oh, that really? cost double the price of this Blendtec blender and it only made margaritas. And then after I had a few too many one night, I retired the machine because oh, really? I couldn't look so, at so it anymore. So you're seeing over here all the things that it replaces. Your coffee yes. grinder, your mixer, your food processor, oh. your meat grinder. If you happen to have one, if you don't, you're gonna love having one. Your soup maker, your ice cream maker, your margarita maker, the, obviously the most crucial, and your and your <laughs> juicer. Uh, and, and I just thought of your uh, your shave ice maker because if you, like, if you like having that shave ice with your flavors on top, oh look at Gosh. that you know look at that i'm back on the know, cruise ship <laughs> yeah, you know what a professional margarita looks like you know the consistency of it it's not too watery it's got this is this like is there real booze in this like, are we allowed to say that on tv uh, i don't know if you're allowed to say booze but you can tell <laughs> I, I say all sorts of things you're gonna get to know me well, yeah. you can try that this anyway is, oh i can smell it this i know is definitely i was pretending there wasn't <laughs> no there is there is, there is. <laughs> we have legit recipes here but you can taste mm. how good that is all right, I'll see you guys. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna make something that's a little more, you know, mm. um, daytime friendly. Okay, under, under 21. <laughs> I'm doing a pumpkin spice smoothie because mm. it's day one of fall and I'm going all in. So this is really good. We've got pumpkin puree, we've got Greek yogurt, we've got pumpkin pie seasoning or pumpkin pie spice. How great is this to be able to make something that has protein in it from that Greek yogurt and is super easy to whip up. I just press one button, smoothie. So we've done nut butters, we've done pesto, we've done ice cream, we've done hot soup. Well, you can even do your bread dough in here, your cookie dough, your brownie batter, which we will do in just a little bit coming up right next. But look at how quickly it grabs onto those ingredients and mixes them up. Blendtec blenders are about performance, and they're about consistent quality results. And that's why they have such a huge legion of fans and followers. Tom Dixon, the creator of Blendtec Blenders in the 70s, got married, and guess what he was given for his wedding? A blender. A blender. And it was a complete hunk of junk, like so yeah. many of us can relate to. And he said, as an inventor and as an engineer, he said, I have to make it my life's mission to make the world's most advanced <laughs> blender. And here it is, the fruit of all of his efforts and hugely successful Tom Dixon's Blendtec Blender. Half a billion YouTube views. That's for you. Okay. And he's blended everything from iPhones to rakes to marbles to golf mm. balls. This is a powerful machine. This tastes machine. like a liquid pumpkin pie. Mm. <laughs> this is very good. It's like I just swallowed a jack-o'-lantern. You know, <laughs> it's I know, so right? Good. Um, you know, I think about that coffee shop that you know you go to, and that those kind of mocha frappuccino, you know, coffee with the whip, you know, uh, those things are like four or five. You know, the bigger size is six dollars. If you just if you just use this two or three times a week, it would pay for itself. Oh my gosh. I mean, and you don't even have to comb your hair and put on clothes. <laughs> so I'm a baker. This, at this home. actually makes me the most suspicious because I feel like I'm, I can't control it. Well, you can completely control it. You know what? There's a pulse button. I keep glossing over that because I tend to like things to just be press and walk away. But there's a pulse button here that allows you to have complete control over it if you want to. I'm going to press the batters button though and get this rolling. So that's the one with the little whisk on it. The fudgiest, gooeyest, most delicious brownies. You end up with this fudgy vortex of just goodness. <laughs> yeah. And the brownies that you see in front of this blender, and I'll show you in just a sec. I can even take the lid off. You can see that it just sucks the ingredients down and you can see how the square jar works because you see it getting pulled in from four different sides. Look at that. This is stick your spatula in there and go to town licking it and hope no one notices you <laughs> Right, did. exactly. And then these are the brownies baked off. So they're delicious, fluffy. All of the recipes yeah. that Blendtec has created right. themselves, they have a dietitian that works with them. So you will find recipes that always veer towards healthy, er, healthier or healthiest option. And so great, you can even go on their drop-down menu and choose by season, like fall or occasions, Thanksgiving. 
and all sorts of good ideas. So perfect results. Does that impress you as a baker? It, it does impress me. I like that you can control it because when you add flour to something, you don't want to overdo it because it'll yes. get tough. The dough yeah. will get tough, but so I like you, you can, can just pulse. pulse it. You can pulse, pulse, pulse. How about almond milk? So many people are going for alternative oh, milks. Yeah. Oh you yeah. You can do your cashew milk. I've got just some almonds I soaked overnight, some real, I'm a stickler about real vanilla. And then what you do is you just press your juice button and it automatically extra extracts all the goodness from those almonds, mixes in with the water, could not be more affordable and easier. I used to wonder how you got milk out of a nut. I'm like, yeah, I, don't I know get what I was going to say, but I'm it? looking at it. It is so powerful. It is frothy I'm, and I'm perfect. still not over the fact that the blades aren't sharp. Yeah, the blade is dull. A dull, okay, I shouldn't say dull. That's the wrong word. Blunt. It's a blunt blade. It's not a dull blade. It's just not sharp. It's a thick, blunt, cold forged, three inch wingtip piece of steel. And it's metal on metal gearing. So you can even see that the there blade connects into that drive socket. Both pieces are metal. What and it's one? not always metal, the no, drive socket. No, it's usually socket. plastic. That's when you smell, you're like, do you guys smell a fire? Yeah, <laughs> right. Does anyone see yeah. smoke in the kitchen? Right. That comes from an inferior blender. You can always stop any blend anytime by pressing the little X or just let it complete its cycle. But look at the almonds and water. Um, hello, now we've got this frothy, right. gorgeous almond milk. Pop the lid back on top, put it in the refrigerator. And Blendtec pitchers or jars pour from three different sides. So it doesn't matter if you're lefty or righty or both. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And you can and use that milk in recipes if you're somebody who's dairy-free, which a lot exactly. of people are dairy-free, gluten-free. If you're able to control how you eat. And yes. I know that it seems like there's some sort of baby boom going on at HSN. Mm. And I know a lot of my friends have um, make their own baby food, which, you know, it seems like a lot of work. But when you look at it here, it seems like it's seconds. It, it is seconds. And it's just basically mushing up anything that you would otherwise make. Exactly. And mm. this has a nice large capacity to it as well. But mm, isn't that this is good, too. Isn't that tasty? Yeah. Yes, it definitely. Mm. I'm going to walk and talk. We're going to move on over. Okay. We're going to continue on. And we're going to show you a, a lot of uh, great things that you can make. I love this table just smells so good. Oh my gosh, this just screams fall harvest. <laughs> it does. You know, the apple crisp and the mm -hmm. pumpkin pie and, uh, you know, everything. Everything on this table was made with the Blendtec blender. Very proudly, the pizza dough. Make it in your blender. The marinara sauce or the pizza sauce. We made that in the Blendtec blender as well. Here we've got rosemary chicken pot pies, the crust made in the Blendtec blender. Meatloaf, ground up that meat and all the other ingredients in your blender. How about sweet potato pie? The crust and the filling made in the Blendtec blender. Tomato soup, blue cheese dressing on the salad, apple crisp. We've got a beautiful apple cider, some oat muffins, everything made banana pumpkin muffins with your Blendtec blender. So this is one appliance that replaces all the clutter, all right. the one trick ponies in the kitchen so that you can have a simplified life when it comes to cooking, when it comes to meal prep, when it comes to feeding you and your family. Let me just talk for a second about the value. Yes. I, we're halfway through the presentation. This is the very last time that we have planned a Blendtec Today special of 2018. So if you were thinking maybe I'd like to get this as a gift for someone who maybe like loves mine and I want to get them one, this is the day. This is the day. So if you purchased it separately, $449.95 for the blender, just the blender. We are also including uh, the spatula and the jar there that you see with $129.95. You're getting both of them plus about 30 recipes. You can go on blendtech.com mm -hmm. for a lot more recipes as well. And one day, one day only, it's under $300. The shipping and handling is free and we're doing six Love flex it. payments. So for $49.99 on any major credit card, if you're new to HSN, let me just take a second to tell you what flex pay is. You put down a portion of the total and then we send it to you right away. It's the opposite of layaway. So we take the total price and we break it into even payments. It's a credit card you already own MasterCard, Visa, American Express, PayPal, Diners Club, you name it. You, you put down 
on your credit card with the $49.95, the shipping is free, you, and your tax, you pay with the first payment, then your other five payments will be um, just the even with no, there's no interest, there's no fee to do flex pay, and this can be your very first order. You could have never ordered anything from shopping television. By the way, woohoo, I'm a real life person. We, us in the news are the only thing that's live on television anymore because we're actually here right now. People here, always ask me, people always when do you work, where are you working, Casey? Yeah, it's, it's, always, she's working right now. Yeah, people always say, I thought I saw you at 3 a.m. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. She I was, thought I saw you at midnight too. Right. Yeah, that was me that, also. That was her, that was her, that was her. And happy to yeah. be here because yeah, And if you're buying so this for the very first time, we would love to talk to brand new customers. We want to talk to those of you who own a blend tech. Mm -hmm. So give us a call. Our toll-free testimonial line is 1-866-376-8255. Also a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. We always do that on everything that we have here at HSN. Look at that. This, what are you making? I am making a pineapple carrot juice. You can use this as a whole juicer. I walk through grocery stores all the time and I notice there is such a huge influx now of juices, juice. fresh juice, yeah. turmeric juice, ginger juice, yeah. and they all have one thing in common, ridiculously expensive. <laughs> right, the price tag. Crazy expensive. If you have a juicer at home, you know it's such a pain in the butt to clean. It removes the fiber, which you kind of need anyway yes. for your body. So what this does is it pulverizes the fruits, the veggies, and your Blendtec blender keeps the fiber in there. So you're not chewing on the fiber in hunks and chunks like you would if you used your traditional inferior blender. Because this is a Blendtec blender, it will taste smooth and delicious and just you know, Casey, like juice. I, you mentioned a point in there that I think is probably one of the most important things in the entire presentation yeah. is when people juice, they separate the part of the food that's good for you. <laughs> I, I really, and, that, and oh, anyone uh, yeah. that's ever tried to like, You're oh, right. I'm, gonna I'm gonna lose some weight, they never said, okay, step one, get rid of all the fiber. Yeah. You know, I, it's always add the fiber so you're getting fiber and the juice. Fiber fills you but, up. But Fiber's fiber is tough to blend into a liquid it unless is. you have a blend tech. It is, exactly. If you use another blender, you'd be chewing on nubs of carrot and pineapple fibers. But look, I'm going to try and pour this as finely as I can so you can see the clarity of it and how beautiful it is. You that's, don't see hunks That's of very carrot. impressive. It is impressive. And hey, I know because I used to have, trust me, if there was an appliance, I used to own it no longer because <laughs> right. I'm like, I don't got time for that anymore. I just want one appliance and that's my mm. blend tech. Also, there's a huge mess of like, Try you know, that. the island of misfit toys of all these, you know, the leftovers of all mm. the fruits and vegetables that you left out of it. Everything is in here. And you didn't have to peel anything. Yes. I mean, we put the pineapple in, you can even put in the core, but tell me if that's that not is, delicious. Not only is that delicious, it is smooth as silk. Mm. It is complete. It's not chunky. So I'm not chewing it. Fresh. Yes. And look so at the good, color. Yeah. Oh, the color's beautiful. If you, ha if you pick that up in the store, you know those juices, although fresh, they're not this fresh. That's yeah. why the color of orange is never as vibrant. It's oxidized oh, yeah. a bit. It's a bit older. Oh, gorgeous. Almonds in my little twister jar. Don't forget about the twister jar. It's included. Per and it, I use it as much as I do my wild side jar for dips when the kids, the kids love guacamole. I use the twister jar for guacamole. So I've got my almonds, fire it up. And I just wanna stop it there for one sec. Do you ever see recipes, gluten-free recipes that call for, maybe it's a cheesecake for an almond crust? Yeah. So now you've got almost like, instead of a graham cracker crust, you're mm -hmm. using an almond crust, but I'm gonna keep going because I want you to see the butter. I just wanted to show you that that's an option as well. Keep it going and just keep twisting. You just give it a little twist. And your blend type blender does all the work. If you've always wondered to yourself, nut butters, there's no way I could make those by myself. You actually can, it's incredible. You don't have to go to that bulk food store or that place mm -hmm. where they burn the strange incense to yes. get your <laughs> alternative nut butters. Yes. You can actually make it yourself in your home with no added By the salt way, or oil. I want to do an update on the quantity. The Ooh. sea foam that Casey's uh, making this delicious butter with right now is the most limited. I think 370 left. Okay, 370 left in the sea foam. Next to go will be the slate gray, which is also exclusive to us here at HSN. How many do we left? 430 left in the slate gray, that's and then it. that's it. That's so 4,700 sold today, plus, plus, plus. Um, so if you want the sea foam, you need to be ordering now during this presentation, and then the gray is gonna be the next to go. And then we have pomegranate and black, and I love the pomegranate. If you decorate with red in your kitchen, that's so the one you're gonna get. So pretty, especially yeah. in the fall, and I'm picturing terracotta in your, in your kitchen. Yes. 
and country kind of woods. Here's another point I wanna make. The reason why there aren't tens upon tens upon tens of thousands that are readily available is because these are made in Orem, Utah, right there, all parts, including the motor, including the twister jar, including the BPA-free containers, everything from top to bottom is made in Orem, Utah in the Blendtec facility by 400 families. All work there really hard and they can only make so many. So that's an important point because this isn't right. mass produced overseas. Yep. This is made in the USA. So if that's really important to you as well and you're looking to fill your home, your countertop with quality products, eight year warranty that are really truly homegrown from the con the concept and the idea in the 70s to what it is today Blendtec in Orem Utah huge facility 400 people work there and they li are so passionate about these blenders so what are you making with popcorn <laughs> well have you ever had a piece of <laughs> you know you're eating a bag of popcorn and you get a kernel caught in your teeth and you're like oh that might have been a tooth actually that right, I just exactly. lost there so I wanna show you something. I'm just gonna grab a lid and pop it on top. And I've put some popcorn in here. I'm actually gonna put a lot more because I really wanna put this to the test. Don't forget Tom Dixon in his Will It Blend YouTube videos. He's the, he's the founder and creator of Blendtec Blenders. Half a billion views. He does rakes, golf balls, iPhones, crazy stuff, glow sticks. You mm -hmm. should have seen that one. I'm not recommending you do any of that. <laughs> but as far as how hard corn kernels are, this is a pretty impressive test. Oh, wow. By the way, Casey, we're getting some questions. Oh. Um, people are wondering, does it actually heat the soup? It heats the soup because the blade spins at such a high speed. Three peak horsepower is almost 300 miles per hour that friction heats it up. So think about, you know, the tires on your bike when you've been cycling for a long time, they start to feel warm. That's the same principle behind a Blendtec blender. Do you know what about temperature the soup would be? The, the soup is going to be no hotter than 101 degrees. So I don't... It seemed like it was perfect eating. Like it is, warm enough it to is. eat, but not too hot. I would to blow call on it, it a hot warm. Yeah. So it's still warm. You don't even have to blow on it to cool it down. Right, so it's not like you make your soup in your blender and then you have to put it on the stove and warm <laughs> it up and then feed your family. Right. You, the soup comes out of the blender and then you just pour it right into the dishes and set it yes. right on the table. Yes. And make sure you don't do it too far in advance because it's done in three minutes. <laughs> oh, exactly, exactly. Okay, look at this. Anything that looks like a chunk isn't. It's just powder <laughs> that's clumped together. <laughs> If you're doing polenta, here's cornmeal, cornmeal oh, muffins, cornbread. Yeah. Do you ever wonder sometimes, and it's so great for kids to find out where their food comes from. I actually, I think I'm a kid because I just figured that out right now. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, I didn't really get, get that. Yeah. Well, trust me, I was in the same boat, like I said, with the almond milk. Like, that's how it happened. Yeah, yeah, I, I thought exactly. you milked the almonds. <laughs> no, I, I don't know figure if that's it out. Uh, no. So we've got this that's beautiful, show, Casey. warm <laughs> cornmeal that you can use for any delicious warm recipe that calls for cornmeal, now you know how to get it. You grab that container of right. popping corn. Right. Hey, another baking tr trick, since you love baking, everyone always runs out of confectioner's sugar around yes. the holidays. Don't you hate that? It calls for half a cup. Are you about cup. to tell me where confectioner's sugar yes. comes from? Because I don't know the answer to that either. <laughs> You're like, what? You're like Casey the science what? guy. <laughs> yeah, I, have, I need a lab coat. You do. Like, <laughs> and a show on Netflix. So, I don't know what's going on. You're taking, you just take granulated sugar that you'd put in your coffee or wherever, and you just put it in your Blendtec blender. Granulated sugar will turn into soft, powdery confectioners. Really? Yes! I actually never knew that, and my producer has named your show Savage Science. <laughs> Savage your new science. science show that we're gonna oh be watching. I, you so know if you put in granulated sugar that. in here, it'll turn into confectioner That's sugar. That's it. I cannot tell you how many times I have you, to go to the store I for confectioners. Because my daughter likes this one particular kind of cookie, almond cookie that I make that you have to have confectioner sugar, yeah. but everything else is right, you know. And you always run I out. I always, I always uh, run I've out. I've been there. And then you just take, even if you don't have granulated sugar and you've got sugar cubes for whatever reason, toss those in there. And it, you know what, we've got to start doing that demonstration again because that's the number one baking item that people constantly run out of oh, in the yeah. middle of a recipe. This is the Jolly Green Smoothie. It's got avocado, it's got spinach in it. You could put kale in here and it's going to taste delicious. Banana makes everything creamy, avocado makes everything creamy. Those that, are just some little blending hacks that into looks savage so science. I'm a, yeah, I'm afraid my sister would go into shock. That looks so healthy <laughs> and be like, what? I don't think I can digest it. Well, there's no such yeah. thing as too healthy. But <laughs> okay. here's what I like to do. My kids are now at an age where I can no longer control them, which is very sad for me. <laughs> you, well, you shouldn't have had 
had four, what is three. it, three boys? Three <laughs> boys. It feels like 12, right? Yeah, they can outsmart me now, but I can still get them to drink a smoothie. They make smoothies in the morning themselves, and words I thought I would never hear three boys say is, mom, where's the kale? Because they only know kale as that delicious, I'm just gonna... Do you need a... Do you need a uh... I do need a glass. I'm just gonna grab one over here. Okay. I'll use one of these. You can use a fancy one. I'll use one of these. But my kids actually ask for kale because they associate it with smoothies and deliciousness. And plus there's that old adage, if you're green inside, you're clean inside. Have uh, you heard that? Yes. <laughs> you don't I don't know if I want to be clean right now. I've got two hours of coin after this, but. Uh. <laughs> well, you'll be, you know, let's just get the process started yes. now. <laughs> oh, this tastes really good. Isn't that incredible? I'm surprised. Don't I feel like I'm surprised? <laughs> yeah, why are you going into this as such a skeptic? I, I know, I'm like so shocked. Okay, here's what happens all the time in my household. You steam a bunch of broccoli for for dinner, and then what happens is the kids decide, meh, meh, they poke around at it. Right. So you've got some leftover broccoli from the night before. Add in some seasoning. This is the broccoli cheddar soup. Here I'm adding in a veggie broth. You could add in chicken broth. And look at the size of those hunks of cheese. That's what I love about Blendtec blenders is it's not, you know, step one, grate your cheese. And you're right, like, right. oh, come on, I don't have time for this. It's step one, throw everything in the blender. Right. Step two, press the button. I feel like you can make almost soup out of almost anything. You can. You and, and you know what? I love that. On the HSN Facebook page, people mm -hmm. were commenting about the leftovers that they happen to have in their kitchen to make soup. Press one button, the soup button, and in three minutes, you have perfect soup. And while I'm doing that soup, I can do an ice cream as well. Blueberry ice cream. Frozen blueberries. We've got a little bit of protein powder and some almond milk that we made earlier. A little bit of extra ice that I'll put I just in want here. to let everybody know we have about 15 minutes left in the show. Uh, and well, it says 10 minutes left. 10 minutes left in the show. <laughs> $399.95 is not only the best uh, deal anywhere, it's our best deal of the year. This is the last today special of the year that we have planned. And we've got four colors. The sea foam is the most is the most limited. The slate gray. We've got black, and we've got the pomegranate, which is the red choice. Uh, you can put it down uh, and get it home. 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. We include an eight-year warranty for eight the blender. Years. Think about all the blenders you've gone through, and you're like, think about how many parties you've thrown where the blender conks out in the middle of the party. Yeah. This or is professional grade, and if you go to the smoothie place with the planet above it. You'll see that they, you know, National Chain uses the Blendtec, Blendtec blender. Blenders. Yeah. Blendtec blenders are used in over 90 countries around the world. Oh, my blueberry ice cream's ready. The soup is going strong now. These are used by pros. And if you noticed, I walked away and left it alone because these pre-programmed cycles are the key. They are the reason why you always get perfect results. So blueberry ice cream, you can do, you saw a recipe earlier in there for froyo. Oh, so that looks good. Instead of getting charged an arm and a leg for frozen yogurt, which is so trendy, And by the way, that's not blueberry color. That's yeah. blueberry ice cream, which this is very different. And if you read the ingredients of blueberry ice cream, uh, in the grocery store, it might be like artificial this, oh. color, color that, red dye number this. Or this you know is just, do? you know, the blueberries and the cream and the sugar. You have to pay close attention because where I live, there are a lot of quote unquote ice creams that if you read the fine print, say frozen dessert, they're made with hydro hydrogenated vegetable oil. They actually um, don't melt. Have you ever noticed <laughs> yeah. that? Some of the big ice cream chains where you go to get your favorite start with the word dairy and actually don't have dairy in them. So this way you get complete control. Do you want to go for that? Does that look? Imagine you're having a dinner party. I tried one of them. It's and so in pretty. 60 seconds, yeah. you whip up ice cream for the guests. And you can make any type of gourmet ice cream. Mm. Is that not fresh and delicious? It's so sweet. Mm -hmm. It tastes so sweet and good. And I know there's all sorts some. of antioxidants, and it, oh. it actually tastes like blueberries, fresh, delicious blue blueberries. Mm. Mm, this is really good. Oh my gosh, okay. Mm. Meanwhile, my soup's almost done. And I have to say, when you get a Blendtec blender at home, if you use it once a day, yeah. if you use it twice a week, if you use it five times a day, every time you use it, you're making something fresh. Yeah. You're not opening a box, you're not taking something out of the freezer, you're not ordering in, you're making something fresh. So what an improvement to your lifestyle mm. already to take care of your health 
with one appliance that just like, is it Marianne? Yes, Marianne who called earlier. 17 plus years she's right. been using it and it didn't conk out on her. She just saw this one and Do you thought, know, I have a, we have a couple mm. questions from other people that have been yeah. watching the show. Sure. What about uh, apples? Do you have to take the peel off first? No, but you could. You should take the seeds out of apples because you know that the, the apple seeds have some toxins in them. Yes. But apart yep. from that, you absolutely leave this. That's where all the nutrients are, are in the peel and in the skin. The only things you're going to peel are citrus fruits, like orange and grapefruit, because they have and bitter oils. And a banana. Yes. Uh, um, but virtually everything else, if it's a fruit or vegetable. I was surprised you put the kiwi in with the fur. Oh, yeah. The fur. <laughs> the fur. Doesn't it you sound know. so appetizing? It does. Well, you know. The fur. But what kind of soup is this? This is that cheddar broccoli soup. Oh, yeah, I'm going to try that. Using leftovers. So I want you to see there's that beautiful warmth. It doesn't have a heating element. It just has power. Three pieces course power so you get that beautiful soup whether you've got leeks kicking around or a broccoli or maybe you want to do you know even a cold soup go ahead and do a cold like soup a as well soir. yeah or a gazpacho or whatever it happens to be i'm just going to garnish this with some big chunky breadcrumbs you could put whatever mm -hmm. you want but you always get fresh delicious frothy yeah. smooth Flavor. Can you imagine how good a Vichy Soise would be actually with oh, the, yeah. the leeks and the creaminess of it? So imagine it's Thanksgiving. You know that soup course that no one ever does? Yes. Because <laughs> you're like, too much work. soup? I'm not yeah. making soup. I just can't believe how smooth Three this minutes. is. I want to show you guys again. And maybe you can yeah. taste it and describe the temperature because you did have some right. questions about how hot is it. Look at that. I just want you to see like how, how incredibly smooth this is. There isn't mm -hmm. like a chunk of broccoli in there. A hunk and it of is broccoli. warm. This is a warm bowl of soup. Now I will yeah. not, I'll say it, it's not boiling. No. So it's, you know how you get a bowl of soup and then you wait for it to cool down a little <laughs> bit where it's still warm. It's yeah. like the perfect eating temperature. Or the soup that burns the roof of your mouth off and you can no longer taste it. Oh, this is good. I think this might be my favorite thing. You like that better I, than the tortilla soup. I think I do. Wow. I think I do. I love broccoli and I love cheese. This is so good. You know, it's, it's so, so good. creamy. And that's what I love about Blendtec's recipes. Mm. You're getting 30 recipes with the this offer really today, good. but on the Blendtec.com website, there are mm. thousands, literally thousands of websites. Everything is all, always so flavorful. The other day I made a pumpkin ginger loaf and it was unreal it's oh so by moist, the way we just so went over 5,000 sold <gasps> we just you see the little oh counter gosh. on the screen we just went over the 5,000 sold mark well We're that's coming towards amazing yeah, we're coming towards the end of the day, so it's 8 o'clock. If you're new to us here at HSN, uh, today's special, how this works is when the day ends, the special ends. Um, so when we do, each day we do a brand new, so we have, you know, 364. I think we'd skip one on Christmas, maybe. <laughs> but um, you, you've got one that's going to end. We've got 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's only four hours left, and the special completely goes away. We just went over... 5,000 sold right there <laughs> and 5,000 sold right there and we are doing not only this uh, lowest price anywhere at this the, by the way this is the latest and greatest model I want to oh, make yeah. sure I say this this is all the advancements you get the extra jar this is the, the twister the jar. twister jar is included $129 and $95 value the spatula is also included and uh, you're getting it for $299.95 mm -hmm. where you're only paying one sixth of the price under $50, ship it to you for free. We're going to pay for that. And then you're going to enjoy it for 30 days. If you don't love it, you get 100% of your purchase price back. But if you keep it, you get an eight year warranty included for no extra. So if you broke it down, if you purchased it separately, the machine alone, there's the eight year limited warranty made in the USA in Utah. If purchased separately, you're getting 30 recipes as well as the owner's manual for thousand I mean four hundred four thousand four hundred and forty nine dollars and ninety five cents for that um, and then $129.95 for the twister jar. You're also getting that spatula. And by the way, there's some cool features to the spatula. We've got to mention it. And maybe Casey's husband's watching. $579.90. <laughs> it's because, okay, you know how you take a spatula and you put it on the counter and it gets gooey? When you set this down, it's got a little hook right yes. here. It never touches the counter because it kind of scoops up. So you never have to wipe the counter. I actually think that's the coolest feature. I, and I, I want to make sure I, I talk about that. I don't know that this is true. It's, I'm just making this up now. But I bet Tom Dixon's wife came up with uh, this idea. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. I will find out. I will get to it's the, the bottom of that. The clean counter spatula. Uh, I don't know why my yeah. husband just like, honestly, I'm it makes no yeah, sense. Yeah, I'm going to put it right here like this. So yes, you guys can so see it like this. You can see, like see how perfect that is. I'm but, yeah, it, make... does, it doesn't touch the ground. I've never seen a spatula like that, and that's included. There you go. <laughs> that's a great shot. You see what, we see what I'm saying? That's when you set approved. it down, it has this little this little thing right here. It's got an so angle. It, so right, look at this. My counter's all clean under here. Mm, so that's it. included. Love that's it. That's like, enjoy, enjoy. For neat freaks, that's worth it. 
it alone. <laughs> yeah, guilty as charged. So I'm gonna <laughs> fire this up. I've got chickpeas. I've oh, got hummus. Yeah, I'm making a lime cilantro hummus. So this has, we talk about fresh flavors. This has such a crazy good flavor. It's like nothing you've ever tasted before. And I think that's my favorite part about coming here to HSN is introducing you and you at home, the yeah. host and you at home, to all of these great flavorful recipes and ideas and options. You know, I you know and the twister family. jar is included. Give us again an overview. When do I use the twister jar? The twister jar is perfect for whenever you're doing either a smaller quantity or something that is thick or sticky, I say thicky or sticky, because let's say you're doing something like a guacamole or a nut butter, you wanna be able to scrape down those sides as best mm -hmm. as you can Ooh, to get the pretty. ingredients blended. Can you please try that? Yes. I mean, I am, every time the show ends, People come rushing in. I think they're here to help clean up. They're actually mm. here to scoop that that lime mm. cilantro oh, hummus. Good. If you go to the store and you look for a gourmet hummus, oh, by the way, perfect time to display. Oh yeah. See my my goopy. Look at that. My goopy <laughs> spatula is not even touching the counter. I love that. I would spend two three hundred dollars just for the spatula. <laughs> look at that. I love it. That's a great Yay. shot. Yay. Clean can't <laughs> neat freaks rejoice. Yeah. I love it. Um, so this is just such a phenomenal value because it's one appliance so that replaces eight other appliances. I got rid of my beloved stand mixer that was just mm -hmm. kind of there for appearances. I used to use it for cookies and, so, and such, and occasionally I'd use it for mashed potatoes, believe it or not. But now I do everything in my Blendtec blender. Can I make mashed potatoes in this? Yeah, you sure can. Mm. Cauliflower um, crust. Someone was talking about making oh, cauliflower yeah. crust, which is so hugely popular. It is, because if you don't want to have you know, gluten-free, low-calorie. Yeah, calorie. it's delicious as well. Speaking of delicious, how about coconut lime slush? I press that icy beverage button. And coconut lime slush, we've got rum in there. If you love your patio drinks, if maybe you're like myself and you're probably not going anywhere south this winter, <laughs> you can bring the feeling of that Caribbean vacation home by making these perfect blended drinks. So whether you're making a loaf of bread or a pizza crust or the brownies or the ice cream that we've done, you can get it all done with one appliance. Easy to clean, dishwasher safe, or a couple drops of dish soap and some water and clean it right on the spot using your base, using that motor to just pulse it a couple times. Can you please give this a sip? This looks so pretty, it looks like a pina colada. Oh, and, and <laughs> take a sip of that and tell me where you are. Are you in the Bahamas? Mm, are you I'm, in, I'm on a cruise ship. <laughs> you're on a cruise ship. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Doesn't matter where you are. <laughs> Sometimes in you the just Bahamas. want to be mm, somewhere that else. That is good, it's got the lime, it tastes almost so like a- so good. Oh, that's so good. So we've got about 30 seconds left in the I show. Can do it. You, you're doing such a great job. I love, I love how you've taught everybody so much about this Blendtec blender. I hope you guys at home treat yourself to this uh, and make mm -hmm. cooking so much easier. You're saving so much money today. This is the last yes. plan today's special of the year with Blendtec. It's new. It's exclusive. This is the latest and greatest model too. So there's not like there's not a fancier. You know, this is this is the latest and greatest version. You're gonna love it. So thank you so much. I know My you've got pleasure. another show at... I do at 10. 10. Okay, I will see Eastern. you. Coins coming up next, uh, and I'll see you in a sec.